Dr. Riddell, the internal medicine. Well, I've always loved life sciences and I've always loved people, so I think that that was a natural cross match. I think the real reason actually going back was um, a college professor. You know, they have um, a lot of the college students come in and talk to their counselor about where they're going to go in life. And at that point, I had some pretty out there ideas in, in addition to medicine. And uh, he kind of patiently sat there and went, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And as soon as I mentioned anything about medicine, he'd say, yes, that's it. And all the rest were no. <laughs> so it was really, I, I owe a lot to him. I also did a lot of volunteering that made me fall in love with it. And here I am. And I think still now it's a bright choice. So internal medicine and, you know, I wanted to do primary care um, because I wanted it to be something where I was going to have that experience to meet with people and get to know people personally and care throughout the lifetime rather than a one-time experience that's more my personality and type of care I enjoy. Um, family practice versus internal medicine, we get asked that question all the time, what the differences are and why one versus the other. I think internal medicine sometimes is a little more detailed um, with certain types of diagnoses. I love the details, I love the in-depth stuff. Um, I think there's some wisdom in keep it simple, but sometimes the devil's in the details too. And you can find things when you look deep, and so that's always been my personality. Well, trust is everything. You have to be able to communicate with someone, and to be able to communicate with someone, you have to trust them. Um, when you come in, you're talking about issues that are usually maybe hard to talk about, issues that are certainly personal. Um, our daily lives get so busy and we're always consumed with everything out there that it's hard to talk about things that are just about you and that are personal. Um, I don't think that'd be impossible without trust. Certainly the most rewarding part is just seeing people get better. Um, I think everybody's got certain talents and things that they're meant to do in life. Those things could be very simple, just being a good neighbor to someone or smiling at someone at the gas station, or it could be that you're the CEO of some big company. Um, but seeing people being able to get back to what they do and use their talents is the most rewarding. We're definitely outdoors people. My husband and I live just a little bit out in the country, so I feel like we're always doing projects. He's a big project person. He loves to build and do things. We have five kids, so that takes a lot of my time, but they're so much fun. And we have a big family at large. Both sides of our family are pretty big, so most of our life is spent just playing board games and backyard barbecues and campouts and all of that, and we love it.